Four Republican lawmakers are now demanding an investigation of the nation's leading Muslim advocacy group, accusing it of trying to, quote, infiltrate Capitol Hill by placing interns in the offices of lawmakers who handle national security issues. The Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, is dismissing these accusations, arguing they're interested in personal freedoms and international affairs. But our next guest's fears that there may be more to it than that. North Carolina Representative Sue Myrick is a Republican and the member of the House Intelligence Committee. Congresswoman, thank you for joining us. Sure. So the thing that aroused your suspicion and three other Congress members was this internal memo put out by CARE that you got your hands on. What did it say? It basically said that they had a strategy to place members in um, members' office. I mean, place interns in members' offices, but members who were on judiciary, intelligence, and homeland security, not agriculture. Mm. And so it raised a red flag. Why these committees? And my concern is, Care has ties. They were an unindicted co-conspirator last year in the Holy Land trial with ties to Hamas. And this keeps coming up, and every time anybody says anything about care, they say, oh, well, people are just, you know, this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a real concern here because what are their motives and who are the people they would put in there? That's yeah. what it's about, so we've asked it to be looked into. Foxnews.com also got a hold of that internal memo, and it said in it, quote, that their goal was to focus on influencing congressmen responsible for policy that directly impacts the American Muslim community. That's called lobbying, not infiltrating, right? Well, it's lobbying, and that's the other thing we've asked for. They are a 501c3, but very frankly, throughout this memo and other materials that are in the book, Muslim Mafia, they do say they lobby. So we're asking the IRS to look into their 5013C status, because you're not supposed to lobby under that particular designation. As you mentioned, um, CARE is accused of having ties to Hamas, which of course the U.S. has designated as a terrorist organization. The right. FBI has severed ties with them because of that. Yes. And now Congressman Trent Franks of Arizona is calling on CARE to renounce its ties to any terrorist groups and state publicly that it does not support Hamas. Has CARE done that? No, they have not done it. They never do it. All they do is try and turn the story around so it looks like they're the good guys. And quite frankly, they make everybody else look like they're being paranoid by saying anything about them. They don't represent the majority of the moderate community in this country. The moderate Muslims, we work with them all the time. There are several groups out there who do a phenomenal job of saying we renounce the radical ideology. CARE does not do that. That's our concern. Let me read to you what CARE's response has been to your calls for further investigation. They say, quote, if it wasn't so insidious, it would be laughable. What are their charges? That CARE seeks political participation of Muslims? Why is it evil when Muslims seek political participation? End quote. Your response? There, there is nothing wrong with Muslims that participating in the political process. There are lots of moderate American Muslims who do that. Our concern is care will, we not, we will not renounce the radical ideology of Hamas, Muslim Brotherhood, other groups. That's our concern. And they try and laugh it off all the time. And, and the media helps them, very frankly. The media helps to paper this over. And so we intend to stay on it because the American people have a right to know what they're about. Congresswoman Sue Myrick, thanks for coming on today and telling us about it. You're welcome.